Yeah. That's it. Let's get muddled. I'm gonna muddle you. <laughs> you're prepared to be muddled. Oh, you are gonna muddle you. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the clubhouse. House. Today we're gonna to show you how to make three different slow gin cocktails using the slow gin that we made back in September. Don't worry if you didn't make any yourself, you can pick it up from the supermarket. All of the recipes are really simple, you don't even need a cocktail shaker to make them. And they're all just basic ingredients, so it's quite inexpensive to make. First up, we've got a different take on a classic cocktail. The, the slow heater. It's basically a mojito, but with slow gin instead of rum. First up, we're going to need a tall glass. A good handful of basil leaves, probably about 9 or 10 there. You're going to need 4 slices of lime and 1 to garnish, that's 5 slices of lime in total. Some brown sugar, only need 1 teaspoon, we've gone for demerara sugar here. Some soda water and finally some slow gin. Oh yeah, and some ice, yeah? <laughs> so you want to get your basil, chuck that in there. <laughs> chuck your limes in after it. 4 segments. And then 1 teaspoon dark brown sugar, like that. Then you got to get the muddler. We've just got a lemon juicer. Cheeky muddler, muddle it all up. Don't tell them, don't tell them, bro. We're gonna need to crush the ice for this one. Do you wanna do the honest, Henry? Watch your fingers. Let's not crush it. <laughs> yeah, top it up with crushed ice. <laughs> the finesse is remarkable. <laughs> you ain't even drunk it. <laughs> Shut up, you! <laughs> yeah, you don't know what you're talking about. You're gonna need 50 milliliters of slow gin. Oh. Yeah, and all over the table. <laughs> then we just top it up with soda water. <laughs> it's so live! And then you need to give it a little bit of a stir. Make sure you get it all over the table. I'm <laughs> going on the table that time. Top it up with more crushed ice. <laughs> Nailed it. Beauty! <laughs> then we're going to go for a straw. What are these bad boys? Do you want a bit of fancy lime for the side? Yeah, I've one lime to garnish, I think I did say. And voila! Slow heater! <laughs> There you have it, the clubhouse slow heater. If you missed any of the ingredients, we'll leave the links to the recipes below. <laughs> Next up, we've got something we like to call the slow moretto sour. You will need to shake this one, uh, but if you don't have a cocktail shaker, then you can use two glasses. It's basically an amaretto sour, but with slow gin. So this is the slow moretto. What you're going to need is one tumbler, one egg, the juice of half a lime and one quarter of a lemon, amaretto, and some slow gin. For the slow moretto sour, you need to put all of the ingredients into a tumbler. To start with, juice of half a lemon and a quarter of a lime, if you may. Thanks. <laughs> like a tea. So next up, we need the alcohol. So you're going to need 50 ml of slow gin, and again, we're just using this funny little measure. You're then going to need 25 millilitres of amaretto. Look, 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 look. Should I do the honours? Yeah, crack it. And then you need just the white of one egg. Mmm, delicious, gloopy egg. Good on its own and in a cocktail. <laughs> so now you've got all the ingredients in the tumbler, you need to shake it to emulsify it. And if you'd like to explain your. Uh, you want a shaker? Basically, if you don't have a shaker, you can use two glasses. Make sure that one is smaller than the other so it fits in the top like so. Get shaking, Henry! Oh, what? <laughs> Easy. So that's well and truly shaken. <laughs> Not stirred. We're then going to put ice in and shake it again. You need just a little tumbler. And now Henry's going to like perfectly... Expertly strain this into the tumbler. <laughs> What the fuck? This is working. Pulled it off. Round yeah, round of applause for me, thanks. We're gonna put a couple of these straws in it. Funky, I know. There you go. Slow Moretto. Whoa, this is amazing! This tastes great! Em, so you know I'm never gonna drink anything else ever again. I really like that. That's yeah, good. 
down the hatch. Finally, we've got the hot buttered slug. This one's a little bit Christmassy. Um, we're going to heat up some apple juice, chuck some cloves and raisins in it, a bit of slow gin, and a bit of butter. Main ingredient in the hot buttered slow is apple juice. Then we've got some slow gin, followed by some cloves, raisins, and a couple of sticks of cinnamon, but they're just a garnish. We've come into the kitchen because we need to use the hob. You need to warm all the ingredients in this cocktail, so that's what we're gonna do. Two hundred mils of apple juice, fifty mils of slow gin, a few cloves and raisins, and some butter. We're back. We've been heating the hot butter slow for about five minutes just until the butter's melted and all the cloves and raisins have had a chance to infuse. We're going to strain it out into this glass. This mixture. This our last glass. Henry's about to work his magic and pour this in. I, like, I feel like I've had too much good luck today. Confident. What we're doing? Just a slice of apple to garnish. So we've garnished with a slice of apple, slice of apple inside as well, a couple of cinnamon sticks and a couple of cloves and raisins as well. Should we do a taste test? Let's taste it. Let's see if butter in your apple juice is all it's cracked up to be. There's so much weight, there's so much <laughs> anticipation. That's sick. Taste that toffee apple. That's so good. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this week's video. Remember to drink responsibly. And remember to subscribe as well if you like the video and also check out some of the previous things we've done. We'll see you next week. <laughs>